This week on Ghost Hunters. The team heads down to Westside to investigate recent accounts of paranormal activity. So, Thomas. It's uh, Thomas, actually. Sorry. Uh, what's your role on the, the ghost hunting team? I'm the one that kills the ghosts. Kills the ghosts? Yes. Do you have a special name for that? I slay them. Slay? They call me Thomas the Spirit Slayer. How long have you been hunting ghosts for, Carl? Since I was 12 or 13, um, I started hunting ghosts for my dad, and he was a ghost hunter, so... Is that how you met Bernard? Yeah, we met about five years ago and we became close friends. So now I'm filming for him and that's what I'm doing today. I was 14 when I first experienced, you know, paranormal activity. And ever since then I've been chasing ghosts. So I, I got these guys together and we've been, we've been chasing ghosts ever since. But I've never experienced anything quite like this. How are you doing, Mr. Frankie? Oh, you know, I'm I'm hanging in there. How are you? I'm doing all right. How long have you been living here for? Oh, I've been living here quite some time. Almost my whole life. I'm born and raised here. Just by yourself? Well, I, I recently I've been by myself, but I used to have Bobo a long time ago, but he's since passed. Who's Bobo? Oh, you know, Bobo, Bobo is my husband. He, he, he helped me out around the house. I, I liked having Bobo around. I enjoyed the company. What happened to him? It all started one day. It was a morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. We, we were just sat down for breakfast, and, uh, he went to drink some milk, and I, I knew it smelled funny, so I told him not to drink the milk. I could tell it was spoiled or something was wrong with it. But Bobo didn't want to listen to me. He wanted to drink that milk. Whatever he, he... He drank the milk. He ended up getting sick off that milk. It was not good for Bobo. Sick? What What do you mean? Oh, Bobo, he, he started seeing things like, like yellow birds in the sky. I don't know. He was just He was just acting funny. He acted like someone was with him all the time. It was just really, really weird. One day it got real bad though. I, I was really worried about Bobo then. I had to call one of them, uh, what do you call them, psychiatric types peoples. And they came and they, they looked at Bobo and they knew something was wrong right away. What'd they say about him? Well, I had a little chat with them after and they said there was no hope for Bobo. Then that, what happened to him? That really scared me. That, oh, that, that sent shivers down my spine. And then I got done talking with them psychiatric types and I went back to the barn. And, oh, the sight, oh my goodness. I saw Bobo. He was hanging from his, his neck by the, the rafters in the barn. Not a good day for Bobo. 
I'm so sorry, Mr. Frankie. Okay. What you're about to see, it's gonna be pretty crazy. This here is the barn that Bobo died in. Let me show you, come on. Some sad stuff. Bobo, oh, he went. I was living. Died from that damn milk. I'll never forget it. Bobo. God, it hurts me every time I walk to this barn, boys. Sad story. Oh, yeah. We have depression stuff over here. Walk back this way. Prepare yourself mentally. It's going to get pretty crazy up there by Bobo's barn. That's what I call it now these days. Wait. That, that there is a trap that I set to catch all them baboons. It was, so, it was, it was, so right in through here where Bobo, he hanged himself. I can show you right where the rope's still hanging there, I think. I might have taken it down when those policemen came. What happened to Bobo's body? Right there. This here is the same rope that Bobo killed himself on. Oh wow. Yeah. Tied up like a noose. All, all dead for Bobo. I think we'll be able to use this to catch Bobo. Really? Yeah, I think it'll be that a nice lure. Incredible. Yeah. You you think that rope's gonna be enough to help me catch my Bobo? Well, we brought something just in case. The spoiled milk will attract the spirit. So, let's check out our contraption. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is our spectral hunting device. Um, the net is gonna encapsulate his spectral spirit after we lure him in with the uh, the milk and the rope. See, we use a glass because it's open on the top. So they'll come down trying to get in it and get caught in there. Yo, hey, Bernard, you got those spectral optics? I brought them. We're gonna need those. They're gonna be very useful. Thanks, man. We can see the ghosts through these eyeglasses once we put them on. I can't see shit, Tomas. You turn on your spectral goggle. Oh boy. Here we go. Thought you guys were professionals. You can't remember to turn on your damn spectacle thing. 15 years of experience. We're good for it. We always get the ghost. Just, oh my god. Oh my god. Is that Bobo? Oh Bobo. Mr. Frankie, Mr. Frank! Oh Bobo! Oh, you want me to drink the milk? Oh, 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 Him and Bernard. Oh, oh. oh. oh I love your milk, Bobo. Oh. Get back here. Oh, Bobo. I can't see in these goggles. I can't see in these goggles. Come on, Bernard. Mr. Frankie, Mr. Frankie. You okay? He's dead. Oh, no. Carl, turn off the camera. Carl, turn it off. Well, Tomas, I ain't got nothing to say. I don't know if I can do three more seasons of this, bro. It really took a toll on me. I'm gonna have to head back to my wife. What's she gonna think about this? Depends how much money we get. That's a good point. We got insurance, right? Oh, hell Most yeah. insurance? Yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah. Season 2, May 13th, be ready!